among the many miracles that Jesus performed in the Bible was the miracle of opening of blind eyes and there were times in scripture where certain people could not receive or Jesus would come and find a group of people in other renditions it would say he healed them all and then in other renditions you will hear that he healed some but there is no record in scripture of any case of blindness that Jesus did not heal it was a prophetic message that when a man is bankrupt of sight you are limited in life and you are limited in destiny hallelujah and very quickly I want to show you by the spirit how men can tap into the gift of sight and redirect their lives the absence of the gift of sight will keep you stunted will keep you limited you may never able to activate destiny and to be a blessing many believers are blind in as much as they are saved they do not know how to tap into the intelligence of the spirit and so there is nothing commendable about their christian experience they just go to church they study the bible blindly they pray blindly and there is no beauty and glory that emanates with time from their lives the seeing eyes a man can have access to the miracle of sight now very quickly the seeing eye is an attempt to show you the various ways watch this now that the intent the mind of God the mind of the spirit is brought to bear to the believer that there is a technology in the spirit by which you can tap into the mind of God pictorially graphically that you can know that this is God's intent for you for the now and for the season of your life that you're in and then you obtain grace to walk based on that picture hallelujah now if you do not know what God is thinking about you in fact the Bible says it this way Jeremiah 29 and verse 11 for I know the thoughts that I think towards you said the Lord that they are thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end he does not tell you specifically what they are he just tells you that they are thoughts of peace and so you need to buy into the mind of the spirit to know what God intends for you to do now there are many sincere believers who have found themselves touring parts of destiny that were not a marked it is not part of their prophetic blueprint they sincerely began to follow blindly and from the lens of prophecy and god's god's assignment for them many of them would soon realize that they've just been wasting their time doing things that are not part of their prophetic blueprint taking journeys and long paths in life and destiny that they would later find out was not a mark for them for as long as John was in the will of God, he had access to all that God intended for him to do. No one could kill him. No one could, people could persecute him, but he became invincible. He was immune because he was staying in the will of God. The moment John the Baptist veered off the will of God and he began to do and practice things that were not in his prophetic blueprint, he became a prey to the enemy and he died cheaply the assignment of john was to be the forerunner of jesus and for as long as he understood that assignment and stood upon his watch playing that role effectively the same people who would later kill him were there and yet they had no power over him because he was immune by the power of his vision but the moment he announced jesus and he did not know what else to do with his life he began to delve into areas perhaps sincerely so that was not a mark for his destiny how could a man announce jesus and die the way john died how could a man ordain jesus to ministry and die the way that he died that is not how god rewards those who walk with him but that is what happens to a man when you become blinded just because you saw yesterday does not mean you are seeing now you must receive the miracle of sight for the now there are people who begin with god accurately receiving the blueprint for their destinies but eventually they allow blindness to plague them and with that blindness will come confusion this is true for those in ministry this is true for those in business this is true for family people and so they start well excelling in life and destiny and eventually you will find them veering off paths that were not in their prophetic blueprint imagine with me ladies and gentlemen that i ask you to close your eyes and then i ask you to walk out of this room or to walk to your car to go home chances are excellent except by divine help you may not get there the probability literally that you may get to your car may almost be zero do you know why your legs are working well the ability to move is there the ability to think is there the ability to reach is there but just because one component required for your advancement went missing your life becomes the, the terrible thing is that it will not stagnate you it will confuse you and derail you until you die when your legs are tied 
even if your eyes are open you can see where you should go but the ability to take steps is not there but when your legs are fine your hands are fine your mind is fine but your eyes are blind you will keep moving motion without direction is a risk because you can fall into a pit are we together now so many people begin well in fact there are people who start from day one of their spiritual journey they already start in confusion with all shades of blindness and they find out that they are wasting their time wasting their energy investing themselves in things that have no they have no no um no consistency with god's blueprint for them i'm praying for someone here tonight where you have veered off in destiny that you are moving this way thinking it is God leading you at the end of tonight you will know who and what has been leading you because listen some of us the way you are going if you continue it without a message like this halting you you will definitely get into perdition sincerity is not enough to actualize destiny you must have the gift of sight there are people today who once were in God's prophetic program they once were in God's prophetic program. Once upon a time, they were at the cutting edge of God's program, but they lacked the ability to see what God is doing now. And while they were relevant in one season, when seasons changed, they did not have the gift of sight. And they continued doing what God was doing, not knowing that God has switched. Hallelujah. And the dangerous thing is that when you are a leader, if you do not have the gift of sight, people will follow you with unbending loyalty, even into confusion, even into perdition. There are parents today who have confused the destinies of their children because they lacked the gift of sight. They did not know like Manoah what kind of destiny these children would have. And they began to insist on a pathway that was not consistent with God's blueprint. And the children in obedience followed them only to discover they've wasted 30 years, 40 years of their lives and their destiny. Hallelujah. I have had the honor and the privilege of seeing people who are sincere, they love God with all their heart, but either as a result of poor mentorship or misunderstanding of the ways of God, have found themselves veering off parts in ministry, parts in business, and parts in destiny. It becomes more troubling when you have people following you in that confusion. Jesus was rebuking the scribes and the Pharisees, and he called them blind people who were leading the blind. Imagine with me that a blind man is leading another blind man. They hold on to you believing you know where you are going. But because you lack the gift of sight. Hmm. Hallelujah. There are many individuals who are not able to translate the things that they have seen in the spirit. To find expression because number one, they do not even understand how to see in the spirit. Nor how to interpret the things that are seen. Do you know that almost everyone here, by the time I'm done showing you what I'm showing you. You will know that the spirit of God has been opening the blueprint of your destiny once and again. For some of you because you did not have the gift of sight. You are not even aware that it is God showing you. And I have taught you that there is timing to destiny most people copy what others are doing they do not have the gift of sight to know what god is doing so when they find out that something is working everybody just says this is how ministry is being done let's do it that way this is how business is being done and then after 10 years the person leading you will say i'm sorry i really did not see well and you find out that you may have wasted your time accessing the gift of sight let me show you a very interesting story luke chapter 18 my goodness luke 18 from verse 35 i've read this scripture for decades of my life but as i was preparing this sermon the lord opened my eyes to something i had never seen and it came to pass this is the story of blind Bartimaeus. please follow carefully that as he was come nigh unto jericho a certain blind man sat at the way begging one of the consequences of blindness you will remain limited a certain blind man with feet to walk hands to reach a mind to think but because of blindness he sat at the wayside the same way that people follow to actualize their destiny he was not in the way he sat by the side begging number two the Bible says and hearing the multitude pass by he asked what it meant hmm. next verse please quickly and they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passed by 38 and he cried watch this and said thou son of david have mercy on me 39 and they which went before rebuked him that he should hold his peace 
but he cried so much the more thou son of david have mercy on me next verse and jesus stood and commanded him to be brought unto him follow carefully now and when he was come near he asked him what was the question saying what will thou that i do for you the man never said open my eyes he said that i may receive hmm. there is no mention in that story of open my eyes it was about receiving that i may receive my sight he didn't say open my eyes because his eyes could be open i i doubt if his eyes was closed are we together just because your eyes are open does not mean you have received the gift of sight his eyes were not closed but the man was blind so blindness is beyond your eyes being closed give us a scripture let's finish up and he said lord 41 let's go back please that i may receive it's a gift that you give all men who are interested that i may receive my sight 42 and jesus said unto him since you understand that sight is a gift more than the opening of eyes jesus did not say your eyes be open what did he say receive thy sight your faith has brought you this salvation called the gift of sight receive thy sight next verse 43 and immediately he did what you notice the bible never talks about opening of the eyes immediately he received his sight and following him glorified god and all the people when they saw it they gave thanks look at me that meant if you saw the blind man you would think he was seen because his eyes were open it was only him and his situation that showed that he was blind are we together now if you saw him you would not see his eyes closed this way because your eyes can be closed and yet you are still seeing for instance when the bible tells us that paul's eyes went closed as saul even though he was blind physically the bible says he was in the house remember that he went to a city called straight and he waited there and he was still having visions even with a closed eyes so that a man's eye is opened does not mean he has received the gift of sight jesus says seeing you do not see hearing you do not hear 